What is going on guys? Commodore Laz here today bringing to you my review of Haikyuu chapter 257, Just and Proper. Now, I kind of want to apologize real quickly for not getting a reaction out this week on Thursday. I had some stuff going on after I recorded One Piece. So I said, you know what, I was going to move it over to Friday instead. And then some more stuff kind of came in the way. So I said, you know what, I'll do it on Saturday, you know, and here I am talking about the Haikyuu hype because my God, it was a great chapter. And just really quickly, I want to give my rating out for the chapter. It was definitely a nine out of 10. And I kind of explained some of the stuff that happened, but starting off at the beginning, I was originally going to give Hinata, you know, MVP of the chapter because of what happened, but I have to really give it to Coach Yukai. And it has to go with not with just, you know, the stuff that happened with Hinata, but the stuff that went down with Kinoshita. And the beginning of the chapter, he's kind of saying, like, you know, all these Inarazaki guys, man, they, these guys are like, you know, they're on television shows, they're in the magazines, you know, they're doing these radio appearances and stuff. And it's like, how can I compare to these guys when I've only been on a TV, you know, a weather report? as a stand-in like in the background and i'm thinking like you can't have that mindset man like you just can't and i love how coach yukai without going too much into detail he's like hey listen that guy's 18 that guy's 16 that guy's 17 that's all and just pretty much saying it doesn't matter you know where you go to school what you're doing all those other things you're simply the same age as everyone else you're not an alien you're not a monster you know like from their point of view we're all the same you put in the work you put in the talent you know, you do everything you can to become better. Your talent's going to be recognized. You're going to be on those magazines. You're going to be on the TV shows, all of that. So I got to give a shout out to you, Kai, for saying that. But diving more into the things that happen afterwards in the chapter, you know, with the whole uh, you, Kai, finding out exactly, you know, the plan that he has for uh, Hinata. And that's pretty much to take care of one of the twins. And I'm specifically talking about Osamu, Mia. And I'm thinking, like, how the hell is this going to happen? And you, Kai, goes for this one time only. I need you to be like Inoka. And if you guys don't know, of course, Inoka is from the Nakama High, you know, Nakama High School, you know, the first year. And I'm thinking like, huh, like, okay, be like more like him. And they often know talking about the rears block, which, you know, Inoka is famous for, which pretty much, you know, after the ball has been served up in the air, getting ready for the spike, that's when, you know, the, uh, you know, the one putting the members are going to try and go for a block afterwards. And they're going to jump up as soon as the ball's been set up. And that's pretty much what Hinata did in this chapter. As soon as we see Osamu coming in for that spike, we just see Hinata go with the block and stop him. I absolutely love, love that panel where it just shows Hinata blocking him. And then like Osamu and stuff was like, what? Like, okay, that's interesting. And you know, Tsukushima kind of also mentioning too in the chapter as well that you know, his you know he has the best jump. You know, his jump is literally what we need for that kind of move to happen. And you know, like, like I just love the way. You know how Shoyo's finally getting like this shine because we've seen Kageyama, we've seen Tsukushima, you know, getting that, you know, the spotlight during the Shuri Toizama match, uh, going back, you know, to, you know, the qualifiers and stuff. And I just feel like the way things are kind of just shown in this chapter, it's like finally my boy is going to get that shine that he needs to. And I think that's been one of the things with Haikyuu as well. Whereas, like, we don't want to just get the main character over, we want to get the cast around. But I feel at the same time, the cast has already been taken care of enough. You know, there's some portions still too, you know, the bench players and everything, but the see, you know, Shoyo finally getting, you know, that recognition that he needs, you know, just the, the little push that he needs to get so that, he, you know, he's just not some kind of background character. He's not like my man Giorno from Par 5 and Jojo, but regardless though, I was just happy for him. But that's what I felt for a bit. And then that completely went into another direction when we saw, you know, afterwards, you know, Inurazaki just coming back they were just hitting all these different like you know spikes you know set up plays and everything and, you know he not just like damn it just give me like one touch one touch just so we can like get something going and the climax of it all led up to the very moment that just had me saying like I think Inurazaki is going to take this first set that to me what happened at the very end of this chapter says it right now Inurazaki is taking this first set and Carson has to come back and take the second set because very end of the chapter, we see Hinata coming up, trying to block, you know, with Osamu, trying to put the ball down. And, he, and Osamu, like, I have to go back and, like, look at the line he said, but this is what got me so like, He's like, well, that said, there's nothing more really to it. And just pushes, like, yo, like, he just stops him, and the ball goes down. And it's like, like, what? Like, how? Like, yo. And it's like, you know, we, we always say for a long time, you know, height shouldn't matter for Hinata and stuff, but Osama kind of proved here and then, height does matter. It's going to come into play. It's a necessity you need in volleyball. 
and he just completely showed it right there and then, and, you know. I gotta feel bad for Hinata. He really, really, really thought this reblock was gonna work. Guess what? These boys are on a different level. And I think, to me personally, this confirms that, you know, Inarizaki is taking the first set. And how Karasuno is gonna try and, you know, bounce back from this, because now the score is like 2018 into the end of the first set. It's looking right now like they're gonna take it. And Karasuno is gonna have to try and work their way back up in the second set of this game. Because if they don't, these boys were the runner ups. You know, they were the runner ups in nationals last year. They're gonna come back and they're gonna try and take this again. So hopefully Karasuno pulls something off though to kind of just, you know, shake things up a bit so that Irizaki isn't running wild and they're pretty much loose and you can't stop these guys. But yeah, man, amazing chapter of Haikyuu. I have to definitely say again, like I said before, you know, nine out of 10, like nine out of 10 at least for this chapter. And I'm excited. Hopefully I can be able to get a live reaction for next week as well. Cause I feel like the hype is gonna be more crazy. Now I've been saying for a while the first set's gonna end soon, but now we're close to like, you know, 20 points right now. We're close to that 25 soon for the match point stuff. It's gotta end sooner or later. But that's pretty much my review for Haikyuu this week, guys. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like the video and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you are new here, you wanna see more Haikyuu greatness coming from me each and every single week, hopefully on Thursdays. But if not, I'll try and get them out on Fridays as well. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good day. Commodore Laz signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.